Uh, there is a big difference. I think in Canada, uh, you know, uh, equally with focus on, uh, you know, delivering IT services, CIOs are also uh, focused on helping their business partners uh, grow the top line as well as the bottom line. Uh, so when I say top line, I mean uh, new products, services, new channels and things of that nature that puts more money into the top line. Uh, when it comes to bottom line, uh, CIOs are uh, obviously uh, you know, working hand in glove with their partners in terms of taking cost out of operations uh, of any kind so that with, with innovation and uh, new self-service models and things of that nature uh, that would take cost out of their regular operations. So, so that's basically how they've uh, sort of established a 50-50 uh, balance between uh, delivering IT services vis-a-vis -vis helping their business partners uh, to enable growth. I think the one thing that comes to the top of mind is, uh, is regulatory compliance, right? So, uh, you know, whether you're in the financial services industry, which I actually uh, work a lot in, or you take the uh, technology, media, and telecommunication industry, uh, there's a lot of focus on regulatory compliance, whether it's privacy or, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the financial compliance with financial regulations. So CIOs have been tasked with, uh, you know, uh, on one hand, they, they've been helping their partners in the business, uh, to be uh, compliant in a more efficient and effective way uh, through automation and use of technology. On the other hand, they've also been personally responsible for driving compliance programs themselves from a technology perspective, whether it's related to data protection, uh, customer data protection, privacy, security, uh, things of that nature. If you look at the overall portfolio of the CIOs, you know, uh, it's a third and a third and a third. So on one hand, they've been focused on uh, service delivery, on the other hand, helping their business partners grow the top line, bottom line, and on the, on the, on the third bucket, uh, regulatory compliance. And uh, one of the shifts uh, that, that, that I've seen recently is, uh, you know, decisions that the CIOs have to make in terms of uh, how much I keep inside, in-house, and how much I outsource. If you take cyber security, there are aspects like cyber intelligence that they really cannot uh, sustain an organization internally to, to gather that intelligence and disseminate and use, right? So they actually ob obviously have to seek external help and, and, and uh, service providers to, to provide that intelligence. Secondly, things like security, managed security, is, is a, the, the trend is for them to uh, you know, outsource it and, and uh, expect that because security has become very sophisticated. It's hard for them to uh, keep up with uh, the demands in that space that they find it easier to outsource that. So traditional outsourcing areas such as systems development, etc., has now uh, grown into these newer areas. So that's the kind of shift that I'm seeing and, and the CIOs have to constantly keep this to make sure that uh, you know they, the, 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 the mix of insourcing and outsourcing vis-a-vis -vis the stakeholder expectations and their ability to deliver overall is in balance.